Hello and welcome to another video on Jurassic World the game. Today's video I'm going to be opening up six packs collected from not only the daily events that started on December 30th, 2019, but also the daily missions pack, the Eucalyptoceros tournament pack, and the six hour free pack. The events that are completed in today's video includes Battle for Survival, a common Jurassic only event, Earth Shattering, a Microposaurus unlock event, the Infinite Battle Stage for a rare fusion pack, and Beasts of the Biodome, a Cenozoic only event. Let's dive in. All right, let's get PAX Monday started. Starting off, obviously, with the uh, Euclidoceros Terminant pack. Uh, starting off with some Dino Bucks, that's good. DNA, food, and the new uh, Cenozoic unlocked finally. So now, uh, and obviously, the VIP points. Excellent. Uh, let's get this guy. It's a lone, lone creature in my market. There was a discount this morning that I took advantage of. Let's get this pack. Let's drop that heliport so it doesn't screw up any of our trade harbor stuff. And let's see if we can blow through some events here. We don't need to build this. We're just gonna sell it. All done. Let's check on. Uh, oh, everything needs to be. Oh, all right. Take that. Let's feed them up. Um, what am I gonna put in? Let's see. Put in this guy. Oh, they got rid of the extra incubator. I don't know if that's why all these are... Oh, okay. Is that one still going? Let's see if this one... Nope. I probably got one more on that one. Uh, let's see if this one's going to go all the way. I don't have to see if they all drop down to... Two or not. Fill this guy up. Oh, it didn't. Okay. So let's put something a little bit quicker in. Don't have any tens of that. Hmm. Uh, do we have tens here? No. Nope. Trying to find some. Creatures that uh, don't take too long. We'll put in that first slot. Mm. This guy in there. I don't want to clog up my first my first slot with a eight hour. Yes. Get rid of those mods. Oh yes, all day. Coins for VIP. Yes, please. No, 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 no. Uh, let's put this VIP in. Mm -hmm. One of those we could fuse up. And I don't want to put this guy in the first slot. Um. So we're gonna go ahead and put in a lower level hybrid uh, collect that. And now we've got to do some events here. So I'm gonna do the battle for survival, the earth shattering, <clears throat> do the beast of the biodome, and uh, probably do this battle stage. Um, and on the Beast of the Biodome, I'm going to actually <clears throat> go through and uh, calculate out uh, the ferocity mashup matchup that I'm getting uh, versus my top three. So um, but let's go ahead and knock out uh, these other ones here. So uh, again, why I have my hybrids is because this is, makes these events extremely easy. Um, if you don't have your hybrids leveled up, I 
suggest that you do. They're also pretty good coin producers, so that's also a nice thing to uh, to have in regards to um, uh, this event. Makes it super easy. I've obviously already done the first two uh, events so that I can make this go a little bit quicker for everybody. Um, some food, some loyalty points more importantly. And let's do this earth shattering. This is a very easy event also. Uh, we'll go with... Uh, Walk over and throw on these car raptors. I uh, hope everybody is surviving through the holidays. Um, I've got a, a midweek tournament coming up this week for uh, the New Year's, uh, so that's kind of exciting. I'm curious to see what that's going to be all about. Looks like it's going to be an actual aquatic tournament, which it's been a while since we've had one of those, so that's, that's exciting. Um, and I'm curious to see what kind of creature it's going to be for. Hopefully uh, a new creature would be nice. I've been teasing about uh, a creature, um, Deceptive Fins. It appears that it's going to be a land creature, though, based on the... Um, description so I don't know we'll have to see what uh, what we get there take this guy out get that microsaurus pack right. DNA and dino box take it take it take it take it and some more VIP points and the legendary, which we don't really need, but hey, it's always nice to have. Um, so let's actually do this one here real quick as well. Um, let's see here. Need some stuff ready here. So my top three. That's six, seven, six, four. Health. Uh, 3554 five, attack, ferocity of 18,137. Uh, second creature, ferocity of 13,772, and the same thing for the third creature since they're the same. So my team's ferocity, my average team's ferocity, taking all three, adding them up together, and then dividing by three is 15,224. What I am facing, that first creature has a 15,959 ferocity. That second creature has got a nasty ferocity of 21,916. And the third creature has a ferocity of 22,309. So, the team's average ferocity is 20,061, or a 31% disadvantage to myself. And so this is typical of kind of the infinite mode um, battles. Uh, it's just kind of the nature of what these are. Um, it, it can be tough, um, but the, is it obviously the... non-advantaged ferocity, right? So we can choose uh, what our creatures are going to be. Uh, and so we can put and try to, I don't say judge, but try to really make sure that our team has the best possible chance. Obviously, we're not going to put those guys in, uh, especially with a uh, carnivore leading off the bat. And... Um, that nasty carnivore that's following up the Tyranno Titan, got Tyranno Titan, um, has got some nasty attack on it, right? 3,767. So we're gonna need to do probably uh, our Gorgosuchus 
since it's got uh, such high health. Um, that's really why it's going in here. Uh, it has nothing really to do with the... Um, in fact, I might even put an Endoraptor first as fodder. Just so he doesn't switch over to this. Our Gorgas, you just... And is that what I want to do? Let's see. Yeah, I think that's what I want to do. Um, okay, so let's see how this goes. And since this is an infinity battle, we don't have to uh, worry about uh, any kind of time limit, and he went for it, which is excellent. So we're gonna attempt to just build up some reserves here. Okay, so it's only went for one. We have no choice but to go for reserve. Even though we did block, we didn't know he was gonna block. Let's see if he goes for it now. Okay, he did, which is good. So, we can do three here. And then we can do two here. So, because when he comes in, um, two won't kill us. It's probably going to swap, and one's not going to kill us. That's right, so only one for one. So, he's got two left. Could do four here, and that guarantees he dies. I'm gonna do three. Excellent. So he's gonna have five. It's gonna take two to kill us, plus four. So he's gonna have one left, and we will have enough to kill him. So awesome. So this worked out. So have to use our best Indoraptor, so it's going to have a uh, decent cooldown. Um, but uh, it's, it's okay. You can get a rare pack out of it, which is nice. It's actually a good rare pack, too. question is, what kind of good stuff are we going to get in it? Alright, All right. more bucks. I'll take it. Even though it's just a Diplogos, it's okay. And looks like it's just gonna be a VIP mystery pack the next time, so that's okay. All right, so Beast of the Biodome. So let's see, what do we have as our top three? It's been a while since I've done this, so 305. I haven't done it since the Cenozoic reshuffle. Uh, and I've recently leveled up another uh, Dawn. Uh, so now I have two up there, uh, in form of the uh, Thamocles. Um, okay, so our, my top three. So these three here have a ferocity of, uh, average ferocity of 7,425.7, so we'll call it 7,426. The opponents that I'm facing on this first battle... Punching the right information. That metal creature is very weak. Um, but uh, the total team's ferocity over here is uh, 6,388. Uh, so roughly we have a 13.9% advantage. Um, and that's kind of typical, I think. Let me see what I've got for, uh, that I've tracked for this. Um, yeah, so this is actually a little bit maybe nicer. I guess it's been a long time since I've actually tracked um, the Beast of the Biodome. So let's see how this unfolds with the rest of the battles. So we've got uh, Snow Cave, Snow, 
Um, so let's see, we'll put in a piano to start, do a lower level here, and then we'll finish off with a Thermocles, so we get credit for our three Cenozoic creatures. I might have already, no, I don't think I have done one part yet, so let's see what this looks like here. Does not attack, it's okay. Probably could have just reserved three because that cave creature has got such low attack. Can't really swap it and do much damage to us. Apparently he seems to be okay with just letting stuff happen here. Yeah, okay, he's got quite a bit of reserve now. But it's gonna take a lot to kill our piano because he doesn't have any class advantage, so I think he can with five. Nope, couldn't, so he didn't want to go for it. And that's okay. We're just gonna reserve up here if he decides to attack us and kill us. We'll see how that uh, how that plays out here. <laughs> Look at that. I guess he's got one left, so I'm just gonna swap this guy in anyways. Take him out. And the uh, Synthoceras come in and take us out. Should take us out. Yep. And then the Pano with his 43 health will come in and s finish up the battle. Okay, so that one was pretty easy, which it should be. We had a you know 14% advantage four class advantages, and so since we can see the battle ahead of time, we can set up our team to uh, to handle that. So again, so let's see what we got here on this next battle. Uh, second creatures have been really low, which I'm not complaining. Yeah, this is even, technically even easier. Uh, okay. Yeah, that middle creature is super easy uh, comparatively to the other two. Um, the first creature, the Endocroceros, has a ferocity of 7,649. Uh, the last creature, the Diprotodon, has a ferocity of 7,353. And then the Endocatherium has a ferocity of 4,499. Let me see, 4,500. So way less which is really where the advantage is coming in for us so um so let's see here we'll do a thymocles in fact no we're not going to do that we're going to do a throwaway creature first um, this we'll do spithoceras and a smilodon should be a very straightforward battle. And I didn't want to use the Thymocles because we don't need that much attack. And these creatures don't have that high of health. And since we've got two savannas back to back, it's going to force him to swap. it even easier. No guessing involved. Okay, we just gotta wait for the other guy to go, and then we can finish the battle off. Excellent. Oh, we got the 
Kangaroo. It's always exciting to go up against one of the newer creatures. Back to a 13.8% advantage. So first creature is gonna frosty at 5,472. Oh man, sorry, yawning. I was up late tracking all of the stuff for the boss. Uh, um, second creature, 6,613. Third creature, 7,105. Total team frosty of 6,397. 13.8% advantage to us if we were to use our top three, but we don't need to use our top three. Uh, we just need to use some creatures that uh, are gonna set us up for a win here. And so it's going to be... Go with uh, these creatures. We only have uh, one more battle after this, so... We got our top three available if need be. And Kangaroo does look odd <laughs> when he's jumping around. This guy in. Kangaroo back in. I want to call him a bunny, even though I know he's not a bunny. Right. Now it's going to be dominoes. Meaning I'm going to attack, and then he's going to attack. He might not attack, because he maybe thinks he can't kill us, but... no, nope, there he goes. Okay. And then we're going to attack. He's got one left, so we have to do three here. Reserve the three. And more than likely, he's going to attack, even though he can't kill us in one. He's probably going to go for all four. No, three. There we go. It doesn't matter, because our Bronte Theorems can come in and clean up. And Glyptodon doesn't stand a chance. Okay, done deal. One more battle left here. Oh, it's all three, so let's see here. So we'll do yeah, yeah, and yeah. And let's get this recorded, let's see what kind of advantage. It's actually a fairly easy. Yeah, so 17% advantage to us. So first creature of the Diaper Trodon, 5,247 ferocity. Uh, the Archaeophysion. Oh man, Archaeo. Archaeophysion. Wow, wow, I can't pronounce that one yet. Um, ferocity of uh, 7,328, and then the Bronte Ethereum uh, ferocity of 5,760 for a team average of 6,111, or a 17.7% .7 advantage to us. Uh, so this should be fairly straightforward, so let's just play this one out here. That class advantage lined up here. It's probably going to do some swapping. Let's do some swapping with him. Since we can one shot him, uh, I'm going to go for it. And he can't one shot us, so he'll burn two. And then it'll take two from us to kill him. So we'll have one extra. So when his guy comes in, it'll take two to kill us. I oh, might take all three. So he's gonna need to hope we're not blocking or he's not gonna go. There he goes. I think that's right. 
Well, maybe it would have just barely gotten us with two. Anyways, doesn't matter. Game save match. Some extras to spare. The question is, what are we gonna get on the wheel? Will we get a pack? Will we get a legendary? Will we get a super rare? Definitely not a pack. Oh, it's a good legendary though. That's not bad. Andrew Sarkis, we don't need it, but edit that out and post. <laughs> Hopefully, we'll see. See if I'm able to. Um, let's get some daily events here. Another dip of goddess. And just plentiful today. Let's get some super DNA. Completed, completed, um, completed. Almost have that next Indoraptor. Almost have the next few actually. So I need to actually get rid of that uh, Monolophosaurus ready. Uh, and then uh, the Caprosuchus is going to be in another 257. How much do we have coming for us this week? Uh, definitely not that much. But, maybe two weeks. Well, we don't have the tournament in here yet, so maybe, uh, maybe a week and a half, maybe less. But, that's gonna, I think, do it for today. I hope everybody, it's the last video for the year. Um, hope everybody has a happy new year. Hopefully everybody has a safe new year. Um, and uh, we'll see you back here uh, for the, the tournament run that's coming up. If you made it this far, I appreciate you watching all the way to the end. Subscribing to my channel and clicking the notification bell will ensure that you'll be notified as I release videos on the channel. If you found this video helpful, let me know by hitting the like button. If there is something specific you would like a video on in the game, please leave a message in the comment section below on what you would like to see. Again, thank you for tuning in, and I will catch you on the next one.